the guns down. That is not the way that we're going to solve our problems. We got to put the guns down. Passionate calls to stop the violence in Indianapolis after at least five people were shot and killed this weekend alone. Police are calling the latest death a tragic accident. A teenager killed overnight by someone in his own family at his own home. Our Anna Carrera takes a look at what happened to that boy and the other lives lost across Indianapolis this weekend. Crime tape surrounded this home on the Far East Side of Indianapolis this morning. But police say it was an accident that left a teenager dead inside the home where he lived on Routiers Avenue. I believe that it was uh, the teenager was a family member that was either in the process of sneaking out or coming back into the house. Uh, the residents were uh, awoken uh, by the, the sounds in the, in the house and uh, uh, believing it to be an intruder, they, they responded as such. Officers say this is one of the most tragic cases they've investigated. Two adults and a baby were home when the shooting happened in the living room. It doesn't appear that there was any fourth century, uh, but either way, it was an unusual time of day. Uh, and from what I understand, as far as they knew, Everybody that was supposed to be inside the house was inside the house. Yeah, that's sad. That's unfortunate. Police tell us they believe the shooting this morning was accidental, but it is part of what has been a very violent weekend around Indianapolis. Police found two bodies inside a burned out car on the west side early Saturday morning that looked like they had been shot. Then within four hours on Saturday evening, two more shootings. One happened at a celebration of life event at the Persian Temple on the northeast side. Then police found a man shot on the south side, who they believe was targeted. All different situations in different parts of the city, but all ending with lives lost. I think the violence has really picked up over the years. I think you just hear about it more yeah. with the big cities. But it can happen really any, anywhere. Well, as a criminal justice major, I think obviously it's a huge issue. And there's probably not a lot that we can do targeting like specific people. But if we take a program and try to cover a greater span of people, we could raise awareness and it could help with the issue overall. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.